Okay, being a black folks, and basically if you notice when you look at the moon, you're not going to get... Now this was yesterday's, okay? The number one reason I'm showing you yesterday's is you need to go ahead and look at Solar Artist today and see the temperature, and it should be this one here, and I'll actually hit play on this, and it should be able... This is off my video yesterday. You should be able to see... I should have moved it to where you had, could see the temperature. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So there's your temperature yesterday, and let's look at today's. And as we go to that, you pretty much know Mercury and Venus here. We're going to look at a little a lot of angles, okay? So B is the blue, and A is the red, okay? And the angle that you'd be looking at and what we're going to show you up in space. Remember, our ass and our x-axis, I believe. Could be wrong on that. It's either x or y. Uh, our aurora is way off on the south, okay? So then we go up, and we're going to need to see the freshest pictures. And as you see, they're blocking that out. And... We still have our, and what we were looking for is to get you the temperature and see how much the temperature has dropped. So just back up the video, and I don't have much running, so the idea to back up the video, temperature, temperature of the sun dramatically dropped, and yes, all that's going on. Okay, and then we can go back down through here, I'll give the data real fast not feeding right now probably hysteria about these CMEs people are wondering is this what's knocking my electrical down uh, there's a prick on the internet that says that it does do that and yes it's factual any scientific would tell you that okay that's our auroral is us we're spinning through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour we usually average 60,000 miles an hour so we've decided to uh, put in the ethanol so anyway uh, that's a little joke so there's your more and basically I haven't even looked at earthquakes yet today, not really worried about that. Basically, I'm just going to go show you some stuff out in space. Well, there you go. There's your earthquake map. Okay. And there's our, well, on the 23rd, like I say, we're going to be interested to see that activity on the 23rd as we have a triangulation here of coronal mass. And basically, factual, we'll go to the right a little bit. And there you go, your marble marks. Okay, we're rubbing. And your data will also show you that there's got to be stuff going on. And that heat temperature change, too, that means there's more than one sun out there. And when, when they're moving, we're going to get a warm day and then a cooler day. A warm day and a cooler day. And if you safely look at the sun with a welding goggle, you will see what I'm talking about. And if you watch the sun when it goes down, you will see what I'm talking about. The alignment of the suns, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, and we are coming across here, and we get to the... Uh, Electrons, you're going to see that basically we're going to have potential cross-phasing again here pretty damn quickly, probably doing it right now. Uh, there's your last graph. I don't waste time, basically just show the data because just about anybody that usually looks at my videos is already knows ahead of time and always wants to contradict and everything like that. Now we're going to be built, we are building back up on getting close to a higher C again. Okay, we calmed down for a little bit and now we're headed back into mid-level high C's and we'll probably see some M's again pretty soon. Uh, that's and then let's look at how we are a month ahead or actually a month behind excuse me on our ass position on the quadrants on the pole coordinates and everything's going towards Greenwich okay that's our X and our Y factor yes folks no more than just rotating earth rotates to the east and it's all so our axis is moved to the east on our magnetical. We'll look at the jet streams here real quack, quick that are, yeah, pretty much they're quacky. They are nothing to the norm. And weather modification does exist, and thank God it does. So thank God, thank gosh, thank anything you want to flip and call it. Jesus, H. Okay, now, so, and I'm religious, you know, get real. Everybody on the face of the earth has said the F word. See, anyway, you know, even if you're really religious, remember when you got in trouble for saying the F word? You figured it out, didn't you? Okay. So, here we go. Wild jet stream action. Okay, let's go off into space and take a look at what's really going on out there that creates weather down here on Earth. And then watch your weather patterns. Your heat, like I said, is very strange. And as you see, 70s and 80s, there is the most realistic that you can get. Screw around with looking at certain webcasts and stuff like that. Check that out. Okay. Uh, and it'll probably be warmer because this will expand during the day. And there you go. There's your surface heat for today. And it's going to be a hell of a lot warmer, I would think. Maybe it is a little bit of a cool down today.
but anyway, that's the latest. Now what I can do here is we're going to go ahead and pop real fast. We have Venus, we got Mars, we got Saturn, okay? And if you don't believe me here, we'll pop this to, there you go, you should be able to read it now, okay? Now what I'll be able to do here is freeze this object here, which we know is there, and basically the Vatican paid a lot of money to put a, uh, and I'm going to freeze it. You can see the time of the day running, and basically I'll freeze it, and we will take a look at what we know, and you can see the movement of it. And basically I think I can go ahead and I'll hit reverse, and we'll back it up, and we will catch that huge anomaly out there okay and let's see if it look you can see it right there let's see if it moves forward and back because that's what we're looking for and it pretty much does look like it moves forward and back so it's another part basically of the supergiants it's a mass out there as you've seen it just move okay and then you can go ahead and take snapshots of that and freeze it and that's what they block out and don't want you to see a lot of up there to the right and that's why the Vatican and a lot of money a long time ago wanted to see what the heck that was. And you can barely see it a little bit there. So I'm going to hit reverse and we'll pop back. I think I'm reverse. I'm not really worried about it. Just playing through the film. We'll see the best we can see of it in there. We've seen it a lot of time before on the reds. And they block it out of the reds anymore. And I'll you'll show you evidence of that in a second. And everybody knows and everybody's been saying it's always oh, a scratch on the lens and everything like that. Okay. Well, it's there. Okay. And it moves around. It moves front and back. Okay. So it, it makes some interesting moves. Okay, this is off the movie and same shot a thousand percent. There you go. There is our, and it does some good movement during the day. And you can sit there and go to the players and play with it and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that does exist right there. A massive size. It's not an anomaly. It's an object in space, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to, this is the freshest from B and you have to realize that possibly this might be Earth here or anything around here could be Earth because, let me show you, here's the meatball in Venus. Got to show you the meatball because everybody loves the meatball. Everybody's falling in love with the hugest thing that you're ever going to flip and see in your life, ladies and gentlemen. There's Venus and the meatball to the right. If you can't see the meatball to the right, you're flipping blind. And if you're going to sit there and say it's a gas bubble or a crystal, you need to get on crystal meth because you have function of ability problems and you don't need a doctor. No one really does when it comes down, unless you have a wound. Okay, American in the world, short, ex short attention span theater. Okay, we're back watching Mercury. Okay, check this. Out. Now we're at the freshest plot on A1. We'll show you what's going on with the planets out there. Okay, so basically, you know that when you're looking at that other shot that I brought you back to twice, that when you're looking at, I believe it was Mercury that they had there. Yes. So the idea, you know, Earth is like that, and remember that this is from a head. Okay? So this is the head angle. This was opposite side, hell away out, and you can see that the Saturn's marked there. And I believe Mars is marked there, Venus and Earth, okay? So you know we're near to Venus. We're close with Venus on these shots at angles at different way across the other side of space. Yes. Mass distances. I.e. this is our, you know, best grouping that we can get and then you could mirror it and go the other direction and this is off of the H one A, okay? So yes. Interesting, huh, ladies and gentlemen? What is that? Is that Venus? I mean, is that Jupiter, I'm saying? Sorry. So no matter what, Earth is somewhere here, whether it's right or left, and I believe it should be left since it's from behind, because we rotate right around the sun, okay? So this is from behind, so the opposite direction looking, and the idea that Earth is somewhere here, okay? Now, and I remember that this is mass 48 to 50 something. It might, it might be mass 50, I can't remember what mass they call that, okay? And this is the uh, this is the ahead should be ahead. Okay, here we come down. We'll show you, pre-approve it to you. Boom, ahead. Core two ahead. Okay, now remember on ahead when you're watching this, let me, I'll hit refresh and get this to play. Remember our object is right there. You can't miss it. It's right there, and it's huge. Okay, realize how big the sun is, and realize that this is farther back. Now I'm gonna hit refresh and have it play. Okay, here we are playing away, and basically going to be more meatball in the CME flare. But basically, the sun, look at that. We have dark objects done. We know we have that massive object that moves front and back, and you will see it in this play, so you can play and freeze with it yourself. It's going to be right there, and it's going to move around. It's going to be forward and backwards, okay? And yes, there's layers and layers and layers. But check out the sun, how much is coming off of it. And we know that there is the meatball up there. So more than likely, uh, from the angle 
the meatball is either this dark area here or take your pick of these dark areas up here okay and you can see that there's more than one sun because you see the filtration of the sun and the supergiants is all here okay because that's why the big disc and the sun is only that big so the supergiants and stuff are hanging out in this hole there and you can see the different directions of the sun that are flaring out and the idea you need to start paying attention to direction of sunlight from the sun to earth okay and appreciate the person giving me the deal I already kind of was and it would help me out speed up looking at it and then when I get it down to where I know that I can't be proven wrong I'll start showing it on the angles of light off of the sun okay so huge mass coronal mass ejections off the sun so remember, always watch everything on full screen, and basically, no matter what the planet, it should be more than likely Venus. Now, you will see, no matter what planet it is, it will just before, you see that? It puts off, it gets a signal, okay? It gets a signal from the uh, static electrical coming off the sun's mass and the supergiant's mass of CMEs out there, that it basically blows up its atmosphere, bam, there, before the CME comes across space. You see that? The planets get a signal. Venus, we've seen them all do it. Venus, Jupiter, and they don't like talking about that. Venus, Jupiter, everybody has. Even Earth does. Okay, Our coronals, in which we know that we have way more layers, and they're studying that like crazy right now, NASA is, because we proved their inner camera flare to be wrong. Beano Black, big prick. U.S. patriotic prick, 1,000%. Okay, so now, there you got whatever planet, more than likely that should be Venus. Okay? And that's why Venus is close to us right now, and also because it's what looks bigger when you look at your uh, maps, and also factual that the idea that it's closer also to the SOHO cameras too, and the idea that it comes up real big. And as you see it do that coronal mass ejection reactive flare of its atmosphere, okay, and also the other planets, and we've watched. That's why Mercury looks so damn big right now, glowing like crazy. See, it's glow, ladies and gentlemen. It looks bigger than shit because it's close to the satellite and also the idea that if you see the size of the sun, it's glowing like crazy because it's CME reacting. Just like all the other planets, their atmospheres are reacting to these CME flares. And there you go, no matter what, they even mark this as being Venus. And then you got the meatball. Which the meatball is a savior, ladies and gentlemen, because the meatball is deflecting a lot of CME action. You see how it's blocking a ton of stuff? It's blocking a ton of CME action stuff. That is our savior. It seems to be the rabbit hole theory of Earth hiding out in a hole. It's because we got Big Brother. Meatball is making sure, Big Sister, Big Brother, it doesn't matter. Trisexual, bisexual, it doesn't flip a matter. Because that meatball right there, ladies and gentlemen, you do not miss. And I am not rainbow, ladies and gentlemen, so whatever. We are just, I'm basically big time patriotic, do not tread on our constitutional rights. Now there you got Venus and the meatball. And Earth and Mercury and all those other planets should be somewhere at angles in this shot. And more than likely it's these three here, okay, and other objects there that you're seeing around Venus. Because no matter what, remember, refer back to the map, if I don't get time to throw the map back in here. Because there's all your angles on all your planets. Now there's a planet out by Saturn, there's Earth, Mercury, and Mars. So more than likely that's Venus right there getting its ass blown off right there. That is Venus getting its butt blown up big time. And there's Mercury. And then the idea that you realize on the turn and on the curve on rotation, we're out ahead of Mercury because this is from ahead. Okay? So more than likely this is Venus and they're not telling you because Venus is getting lit up like a firecracker. So no matter what, the meatball is helping out and more than likely that's Jupiter up there. Okay, more than likely that possibly is Jupiter up there. Could be Pleiades. And as we come back down here, we got Saturn, we got, and then you have the darkness out here in space, and you know that it's deflecting a lot of dangerous, and it's helping out a lot. The big meatball is, okay, because the meatball is this darkness in space at our back door, Earth's back door, okay? Because no matter what, these huge CMEs are going on, and whether that's just Jupiter, I mean, whether that's just Venus, whether that's just Venus reacting, or Jupiter and Mars and Mercury and everything all at the same time, it doesn't really matter. That's huge CME action off the Sun and the supergiants out there in space. And you can see the CME lighting up our magneticism right here on this footage here too. See Earth blinking like a star, and we're just a planet. More than likely blocking out what Mercury maybe. More than likely that's the mass. 48 to 50 something 
And as the telephone rings and I'm not expecting any phone calls, I put a big old 460th space command, 460th space command, hello.